Today I will be reviewing some Tatra products. You can tell I am outdoors. I decided to change things up a little bit and take advantage of this nice weather and this beautiful sun. So let's get to it. You probably all have heard of this product. It's one of the most popular products. It's called the Tatcha the Water Cream. So this product comes in this packaging right here as you can see and it comes with a little spatula just like that I really enjoy the water cream this is my second time purchasing this product and as you can tell in the container it's completely gone so it's definitely one of my favorite products out of the Tatcha line the one thing I really do enjoy about this product is its light consistency and light texture. It's really, it does feel like water on your face. One thing I would note that this product is very light and that if you have dry skin like I do, it's not quite a product that you would want to wear in the winter when you have more or drier skin. I would definitely wear this in the summer when I don't want to have a thick layer of moisturizer and especially if you have you plan on putting makeup on this is a very good option because you don't feel this cakey heavy feeling on your face this is definitely one of my favorite products I will definitely be buying again so moving on to the next product because I enjoyed the water cream so much but with the harsh winter in Chicago I kind of needed something with a little bit of a thicker formula and I went ahead and I decided to test out the Tatcha Indigo Cream and it comes in the same shape, same jar, except it's in a darker color, a spatula as well. And this is what it looks like inside. As you can tell, I finished a good amount of this. And the reason why I was attracted to this specific product is because it's very catered to sensitive skin. It says, temporary protects and helps relieve minor skin irritation and itching due to eczema and rashes. And if you know me, and you've seen my previous videos, I struggle with eczema quite often. And occasionally I'll have very dry skin on my face. So I was like, I'll give this a go. And an active ingredient it has in here is collodial oatmeal, 2%. I hope I pronounced that right. But I really like this product. The texture is a lot thicker than what you would get with the water cream. With this product, it's definitely more of a like thick formula. When you put it on, you can definitely tell or feel that it's on your face. And this is definitely something I would wear in the winter when I have drier skin. It also depends during the day and night that I will evaluate how my skin condition is. So if my skin needs more moisture, I will put on the indigo cream. If I'm feeling that my skin is pretty plump, pretty moisturized, and I'm going out or I want to wear makeup, I'll go with the water cream. Leading up to the next product, because I've had such a great experience with the first two moisturizers, I decided to go ahead and purchase the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, which also comes in the same container as the rest of them. I purchased this product because I really enjoyed the two other moisturizers I had. I recently purchased this. As you can tell, it's still pretty new. It smells amazing. And I think of the three moisturizers, I actually like this one the most. And the reason why is because I have a combination skin throughout my face and this really does help with having enough moisture but not too much so going back to what I was saying the water cream was a little bit lighter a little too light for my skin especially during the winter with the indigo indigo cream it was a little too thick so something I would wear more often at night than in the day and I would wear it when I have dry skin with the dewy skin cream it was 
thick enough for me to wear wear out during the day and apply makeup after. And it really did provide a nice dewy finish on my face and I kind of like that. I think it looks nice on my skin when I have a little bit of a shine, but not too much. So out of all the three moisturizers, I would definitely recommend the Tatcha Skin Cream, the dewy version, just like this. The next product I will be reviewing will be the Tatcha Silk Peony. So this is a eye cream that you apply under your eyes. I like to apply eye cream more often at night than I do during the day. I just think that eye cream is a, tends to be a more thicker formula and it doesn't sit too well under my eyes during the day because I wear makeup and it makes it kind of crease. And this is not because of the product specifically, it's because I do sweat and I do have some wrinkles a little under my eyes and this happens with me with all eye cream so I tend to only apply eye cream at night. I know that some people like to apply all day. So what I really like about this specific eye cream is that it does also come in a lighter formula but not too light. So I've had thick formulas where at night I would wear it and it would actually crease up because I have my eyes closed all night and I don't like that. But with this Tatcha eye cream, I can wear it at night and I wake up and I still feel the moisture under my eyes and that's kind of the consistency I want with my eye cream. I want to wake up with softer eyes when I wake up but not where it's clunky. So I would definitely recommend this product as well. Um, these two are great combos. I mean, the eye cream is a great combo with all the moisturizers but these two are definitely my favorite to go to at night. The next product I will be talking about is the serum stick. So I got the serum stick right here and this helps with for your eyes so you can put it on in addition to this or around your face. I like to use this around my face just because I already have a product for under my eyes the fine lines I get when I smile. So things like right here or a little bit of my forehead. I like to add this on top. The one thing I don't really like about this specific product is that I tend to add moisturizer before I add my serum. And the moisturizers that I use tend to be a lot more thicker and creamier. So when I try to apply this on, I actually have a hard time putting it on because it's, it doesn't necessarily melt off of the stick. When you already have something on your face, it's much harder to get the product on your face. So this is definitely a product you would have to apply prior to your moisturizer or you just have to keep really getting it in there. The next product I will be reviewing is Tatcha Silken Pore Perfecting Sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 35. So in the morning, I actually wear this in combination with my dewy skin cream. I like to add a little bit of skin cream all over my face and I add just a pea size, pea size portion on my fingers and I go ahead and I rub my face like this, rubbing outwards. And I think it's good to apply them together because the product does kind of give you a white white cast, overcast, white cast, if you apply it by itself. And I just find that it blends and melts my face a little bit better when I have it in addition to the water cream. So I definitely do enjoy this because I have very sensitive skin and I'm allergic to a lot of types of sunblock, but I'm not with this. So if you do have sensitive skin and you're looking for a sunblock, this is a really good option. Um, it doesn't have this very strong sunblock scent to it, which I like. I think the scent of sunblock doesn't really smell good. So this is a good option. And the last product I will be talking about today is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Just like this. And it comes like that. So I actually love this product a lot when I 
am going out throughout my day. My skin tends to dry up a little bit and I need a little bit of a touch up. But I don't want to put on moisturizer because I already have makeup on and I don't want to like smear that makeup off. So I carry this around with me sometimes. I'll probably have to grab it in a travel size again. And I will go ahead and spray my face just like this. And I really like this because the mist that comes out of it is very, very granular and very small. So it doesn't really start dripping off my face. My face absorbs it very well. And it helps moisturize and hydrates my face. And that's something I really, I really enjoy. The direction says, shake gently. Mist two to three spritz onto the face for a boost of hydration and glow under or over makeup. I love this. I love this so much and this product is great for normal dry skin so I highly recommend it for the people that have dry skin out there that I like to touch up throughout the day so to really end this video um, I would say my favorite products out of all of these would definitely have to be the dewy skin cream the spray the spray and the sunscreen I would highly recommend trying these products out. They work amazing for me and they're great for me because I do have sensitive skin and they haven't irritated my skin at all. I've definitely had products where it would burn or sting my face a little bit. These products are very gentle. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for dropping by today. Thanks for checking out the video. I hope you enjoyed today's review. If you guys want me to review any other Tatcha products or different brands, I will love to get back to you and hear what you guys have to say. Please feel free to leave some comments or questions down below. I will do my best to answer everyone's questions. Don't forget to check out my other videos.